listen carefully sir we will start with some easy basic questions on certs and indices first question square root of 2 power 4 cube root of 64 fourth root of 2 power 8 i need to get this value find the value of this particular third now this can also be written as 2 power 4 i will write it as it is square root is nothing but power 1 by 2 it is power 1 by 2 one problem i am writing in detail it is power 1 by 2 64 i will write it as it is 64 is nothing but 4 power 3 right 64 is nothing but 4 power 3 cube root is nothing but power 1 by 3 and 2 power 8 i will write it as it is fourth root is nothing but power 1 by 4 now i also told you that a power m whole power n is nothing but a power m into n so it is 2 power 4 into 1 by 2 you need not write all these things in the exam i am writing for your understanding for first question 4 power 3 into 1 by 3 2 power 8 into 1 by 4 so in the power of the first term it is 4 into 1 by 2 is 2 4 into 4 power 3 into 1 by 3 is 1 and 8 into 1 by 4 is 2 right it is 2 so it is 2 square plus 4 power 1 plus 2 square answer for the first question is 12 easy question to start with and it's a very very easy question to start with very very easy question i hope the idea should be very clear for the first question second one we will understand each and every basic question initially so that it should not haunt in our difficult questions as we proceed with our classes second one again a very easy question 8 power 2 by 3 value i need to find what is the value of 8 power 2 by 3 now 8 power 2 by 3 can be written as 2 cube power 2 by 3 a power m whole power n is a power m into n 2 3 power 3 into 2 by 3 it is 2 power 2 which is nothing but 4 easy questions we will understand initially sir slowly slowly <coughs> we will scale up the level of difficulty 8 power 2 by 3 is nothing but it is nothing but exactly equal to 4 <coughs> third question similar kind of question 16 power 3 by 4 16 power 3 by 4 whenever you get 8 which can be written as 2 power 3 whenever you get 16 which can be written as 2 power 4 or it is nothing but 4 power 2 try to express with all these things sir try to express it as square or some power of some base right so it is 4 power 3 power 4 so 4 is sorry 4 square power 3 3 by 4 so this can also be written as 4 power 3 2 into 3 by 4 this is nothing but 4 power 3 by 2 but unfortunately i still did not get a rational number right or a whole number so 4 can be written as 2 power 2 whole power 3 by 2 i will directly do it 2 will cancel here you are left with 2 cube which is nothing but 8 sir i will not express 16 as 4 square rather i will directly express 16 as 2 power 4 yes that also can be done i just did it like this for you to explain in a much more easier way it is not in fact a easier way it is a lengthier way but still i want to explain you each and every step how it is working on i want you to first understand the application of law of indices in my easy questions before we scale up the level of difficulty i hope the idea is clear sir before we scale up the level of difficulty first let us understand the <coughs> application of law of indices suppose fourth one square root of 8 minus square root of 4 minus square root of 2 the only number which will give me a whole number is square root of 4 square root of 4 value is 2 square root of 8 whenever you have a third in 
the square root or the cube root or whatever it is try to express it as a perfect square because it is square root if it is cube root try to express inside as a perfect cube and so on that means 8 can be written as 4 into 2 sir why 4 into 2 why not 8 into 1 because 4 is nothing but a perfect square square root of 4 can be taken outside as a 2 and remaining root 2 will remain right remaining root 2 will remain that means square root of 8 is 2 root 2 minus 2 i will write it as it is minus this root 2 this root 2 cannot be expressed as anything 8 can be expressed as 4 into 2 but 2 can only be expressed as 2 into 1 which we will get the same number again as 2 itself so write down as it is so if i simplify 2 root 2 minus root 2 is nothing but 1 root 2. So, 1 root 2 minus 2 should be the final answer. Root 2 minus 2 should be the final answer. I hope the idea is clear, sir. Next. Few more questions of loss of indices. Suppose, for example, suppose I have 16 power 0 0.16 into 2 power 0 0.36 now can i write it as this 2 is the base in the second number so 2 can only be written as a 2 power 1 16 is the base in the first number 16 also express it as 2 power something yes 16 can be expressed as 2 power something so can i say that 16 is 2 power 4 whole power 0.16 into 2 power 0 0.36 2 power 4 power 0.16 is 4 into 0.16 is this is 0.64 into the 2 power 0 0.36 in both the cases the bases are same keep only one base if they are multiplied add the powers 0 0.64 plus 0 0.36 is it is 1 2 power 1 value is 2 2 power 1 value is 2 Next. similar kind of question we will solve some 15 to 20 easy questions initially sir you need to wait for me to take extremely good tricky questions in my next few classes including today's class where i will take some of the good questions also right do not be in a hurry do not think that all these questions only will be taken care of definitely more number of questions we will take care of you know the kind of class i take it you know the flow of class i take it i will always prefer to come from the first step so that i will reach all the steps very very easily suppose 243 to the power of 0 0.16 into 243 to the power of 0 0.04 now see here Again, the bases are same. Write down the same base. 243 to the power of, if they are multiply, add the powers. 0 0.16 plus 0 0.04 is 0 0.2. Now, what can I do from this? This is nothing but 243 to the power of 0 0.2. This is again something which we discussed in our fraction to percentages conversions in our percentages class and also DI class. 0 0.2 is nothing but it is 1 by 5, right? It is 1 by 5. That means basically they are asking you what is the fifth root of 243. That means which number when i raise it to the power of 5 i will get it as 243 243 is nothing but 3 power 5 3 power 5 is 243 so fifth root of 243 is nothing but how much it is nothing but 3 0 0.2 is nothing but 1 by 5 0 0.2 is 20 percentage 20 percentage is nothing but 1 by 5 again sometimes it becomes very very easy for us by using fraction to percentage which we have studied you can never ignore that particular thing sir suppose similarly 256 to the power of 0 0.16 into 256 to the power of 0 0.09 same logic again I want only one base to be written. Write down 256. And because they are multiplied, add the powers. 
जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स इंटू जीरो प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नईन एस जीरो पॉइंट टू फै जीरो पॉइंट टू फैव इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी फै पर्सेंट ट्वेंटी फै पर्सेंट इन फ्राक्षन इज वन बै फोर सो दे आर् आस्किंग यू फोर्थ रूट आफ टू फिफ्टी सिक्स वाट ईज फोर्थ रूट मीनिंग दट मीन सम नंबर इज देर when i raise it to the power of 4 i should get it as 256 which number when i raise it to the power of 4 i will get it as 256 4 power 4 is 256 so fourth root of 256 will be equal to 4 i hope you are able to understand the logic behind using thirds and indices loss of indices especially <coughs> suppose if i take this 0.01024 पॉइंट जीरो वन जीरो टू फोर होल टू दि पवर आफ वन बै फै नौ दिस कैन आलो बी रिटर्न एस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन जीरो टू फोर फस्ट आफ आल ई विल रईट इट ऐस वन जीरो टू फोर एंड इफ ई स्टार्ट फ्रम रईट हैंड सैड वन प्लेस टू प्लेस थ्री प्लेस फोर्थ प्लेस एंड फै प्लेस आफ्टर फै प्लेस ई हेव ए डिमल पॉइंट सो इट ईज नथिंग बट मलटिप्लेड बै टेन पवर मैनस फै होल पवर वन बै फै रईट होल पवर वन बै फै वन जीरो टू फोर जस्ट कपल आफ डेज बिफोर ई टूक ए कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल ऐस लास्ट टू डिजिट एंड ई यूज दिस ब्यूटिफुल नंबर कॉल ऐस वन जीरो टू फोर आलो इन लास्ट टू डिजिट विच ईज नथिंग बट टू पवर टेन टू पवर टेन इंटू टेन पवर मैनस फै होल पवर वन बै फै कैन ई रईट इट ऐस टू पवर टेन होल पवर वन बै फै इस टू पवर टेन बै फै इट ईज टू पवर टू टेन पवर मैनस फै होल पवर वन बै फै इस टेन पवर मैनस फै इंटू वन बै फै इट ईज मैनस वन सो इट ईज टेन पवर मैनस वन सो आंसर ईज फोर इंटू टेन पवर मैनस वन फोर बै टेन विच ईज जीरो पॉइंट फोर आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ईज फोर बै टेन विच ईज जीरो पॉइंट फोर स्लोली स्लोली वी विल अंडर्स्टैंड what are the next varieties of questions which might occur in our examinations next similarly your questions can also be in terms of negative powers i told you already a power minus m is nothing but 1 by a power m a power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by a power 1 that means whenever i have a negative power a power minus 270 If I have a negative power, if I need to make a positive power, so put it in the denominator. Write it as one by that number in the positive format. Or if I have a positive power, if I want to make a negative power, put that again in the denominator and make it as a negative power. Again, if you see, if you cross multiply, a power minus two seventy into a power plus two seventy. So common base is a. A power m into a power n is a power m plus n minus 270 plus 270 is zero. So a power zero is nothing but one itself, right? Again, it's the proof of one of the laws of indices, right? Now see here. Suppose if I have a negative power, it makes no difference, sir. Suppose if I have 64 to the power of minus 2 by 3 into 1 by 4 to the power of Minus two, right? I have negative powers. Sixty-four can be written as four cube. Four cube to the power of minus two by three and one by four power minus two. If I want to make it positive, so put it in the numerator in this case because one divided by one by four, that four will come above. So it is four power two. Six four cube power minus two by three. This three and three will cancel. You are left with four power minus two. Next term is four power two. A power m into a power n. A power m plus n. Four power zero is one. I hope the idea is clear, sir. Four power zero value is one. Now see the next question. Next question is cube root of two. Into square root of two, into cube root of three, into square root of three. This value I need to find. I need to find this value. Now, again, can I say that cube root is there for this particular first term? Cube root is also there for this particular third term. So what I will do is, powers are same. Powers are same. Multiply the bases. 
that means I will write it as 2 into 3, right? I will write it as 2 into 3 and I will put a common power called as 1 by 3, right? A common power is 1 by 3 or it is cube root of 3, right? Cube root in fact. Similarly, again here it is square root. The last term is also square root. Again, the powers are same. Power is nothing but 1 by 2 in both the cases. Multiply the basis. It is nothing but 2 into 3. Keep the common power called as 1 by 2. So this first term is 6 power 1 by 3. Next is 6 power 1 by 2. Now the bases are same. Right? Now the bases are same. Keep only one base. And if they are multiplied, you should add the powers. Powers sum is nothing but 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2. You will get it as 5 by 6 in the power. Answer for this question is 6 power 5 by 6. Do not be in an assumption that in all our questions which we have solved earlier, most probably everywhere the answer was given or answer was coming as a whole number or a national, ration, rational number or a natural number, whatever it is. In this case, you are not getting a natural number. There is no particular rule that you should always get a natural number, sir. Right? Answer need not be a rational, natural number every time. It can be a third also, like the way we got it right now. Suppose, for example, another question. 64 to the power of 2 by 3 into 2 power minus 2 divided by 8 power 0 whole to the power of 1 by 2 that means I am finding the square root of this particular value 64 power 2 by 3 is 64 is nothing but 4 cube 4 cube to the power of 2 by 3 that 3 will cancel 4 square is what is left 4 square is what is left 2 power minus 2 is 1 by 2 square 1 by 2 square divided by 8 power 0 is 1 whole to the power of 1 by 2. So this can be further simplified as 2 square is nothing but 4. It will cancel with one of the 4. 4 into 1 is 4. 4 divided by 1 whole power 1 by 2. 4 by 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 4 is 2. These are all very very easy questions to take care of sir. Very very easy questions. Next question. Next one, square root of, square root of, cube root of 0 0.004096, square root of, cube root of 0 0.004096. Now, can I say that, can I say that 16 cube is nothing but 4096, right? 16 cube is nothing but 4096. Now, can I again say that because 16 cube is 4096, 0 0.004096 is nothing but 0 0.16 cube. These both are absolutely same. That means the cube root of 0 0.004096 is nothing but equal to 0 0.16. I will replace that with 0 0.16 outer thing what is present is square root square root of 0 0.16 it is 0 0.4 square root of 0 0.16 is nothing but 0 0.4 i am trying to connect the dots wherever it is possible so that it becomes easy for our upcoming problems we will solve every variety of easy question initially so that we will take the next varieties of questions as we proceed with our classes I hope the idea is clear sir 16 cube is nothing but 4096 sir how 16 cube is 4096 all those things we have already discussed in how to find the square of a number how to find the cube of a number in our speed maths sessions suppose for example suppose if your question is another question if your question is 3 root 12 divided by 2 root 28 this divided by 2 root 21 divided by square root of 98 right square root of 98 now listen carefully sir everything keep expressing as a perfect square wherever possible 12 is 4 into 3 that 4 square root is nothing but 2 take it outside you are left with root 3 similarly 28 is 4 into 7 square root of 4 is 2 
take it outside you are left with root 7 this divided by or if i convert this division to multiplication this term will become reverse that means numerator will come as root 40 root 98 root 98 is 98 is 49 into 2 what is square root of 49 it is 7 take that 7 outside you will be left with 2 inside the square root divided by keep this 2 as it is square root of 21 is nothing but square root of 21 is nothing but 21 is 7 into 3 so square root of 7 into 3 it is root 7 into root 3 right it is root 7 into root 3 simplify everything what all you can do it can i say that this root 3 root 3 cancels this 2 and 2 will cancel what all what all you can simplify it sir root 7 into root 7 is 7 7 is 7 7 is cancelled with 7 so you are now left with you are now left with in the numerator you are left with 3 root 2 divided by denominator you are left with 2 into 2 which is nothing but 4 right which is nothing but 4 if i further simplify 3 into root 2 value which will come later on it is approximately 1.41 3 into 1.41 divided by 4 answer is approximately equal to 1.0605 right answer is approximately equal to 1.0605 it all depends upon the answer options if the answer option is expressed in this in this format itself stop it don't move forward if the answer option is not expressed in that format move ahead and continue with that particular simplification it all depends purely on how the answer options are given i hope idea is clear sir we are still in level 1 questions. We will continue to be in level 1 questions for the next few minutes. We will cover multiple varieties of questions as we proceed with our class. Jishnu, please repeat. Jishnu, every number I am expressing it as perfect square wherever possible. 12 is nothing but 4 into 3 Jishnu. This 4 square root is 2. I wrote it outside. Square root of 3, I cannot do anything. So, I am keeping it inside the square root itself. Similarly, this 98 is 49 into 2. 49 square root is 7. 28 is 4 into 7. 4 square root is 2. This root 21. 21, I can only write it as 7 into 3. Both are nothing but not perfect squares. So, I just wrote it as root 7 into root 3. Simplify, cancel everything, what all you can do it. And root 2 value, we should know it as 1.41, which will keep repeating in so many problems in future. So, root 2, I wrote it as 1.41. And I multiplied and then divided by 4 approximately to get the answer as 1.0605. Just know I believe that it is clear, sir. I hope the idea is clear. Suppose another question. Suppose if 125 to the <coughs> power of 2 by 3 into 625 to the power of minus 1 by 4 is equal to 5 power x, then find the value of x. If 125 to the power of 2 by 3 into 625 to the power of minus 1 by 4 is equal to x, sorry, equal to 5 power x, then find the value of that x. You need to find the value of that x. Now, listen carefully. Same logic. There is no difference in the way what we are solving. These are all anyway very easy question. 125 is 5 power 3. 5 power 3 power 2 by 3 whole power 2 by 3 that 3 and power 1 by 3 will cancel you are left with 5 power 2 similarly 625 is 5 power 4 5 power 4 power minus 1 by 4 4 and 1 by 4 cancel you are left with 5 power minus 1 is equal to 5 power x so 5 power 2 into 5 power minus 1 it is nothing but 5 power 1 is equal to 5 power x Powers are different, bases are same. So, equate the powers. So, x value will be equal to 1. Simple. 